Right now, we are in a unique situation where the whole world is training at home. And believe it or not, there are five secret advantages that no one's talking about. So I'm gonna do that today. First things first, this is an opportunity to find out who you are and discover what you actually need within your workouts. What I mean is that your current program, or the one that you did before quarantine, might have included all kinds of exercise that obviously you can't do anymore, right? And since removing them, since experimenting with properly executed home workouts, you're starting to realize more and more how they weren't necessary. All those machines, all the fancy equipment, all the stuff that, say, goes away from the basics, it's on your toolbox anymore. And it hasn't hurt your gains in any type of way. Making that click, making that realization, it's like, wow, I can do right with a barbell, weight plates, a power rack, maybe a polar bar and some bands. Simple stuff. And getting all kinds of variations in that process. Because you've been convinced that you need different equipment to induce variety. When it could be as simple as modifying grip widths, going from pauses to touch and go, experimenting with different sets and reps, percentages, workout templates, etc. Your creative mind, that which has probably been suppressed for all this time, is no longer an obstacle. And most importantly, it's now your own goals. Because there's nobody to impress anymore. All that ego, I want to impress that random dude that I never even met. I want to impress all these dudes on social media. No one cares about that anymore. We become more humble. And we're actually doing what we want. Once and for all. So there are negatives in this situation. I know a lot of you guys miss it, Jim. But we got to look at the positives. Enter a brand new world. For many people, that's going to be calisthenics. For others, it'll be cardiovascular type training. And some people, actually I've seen this in my comment section. They used to care so much about their one rep max on the big three. Now it's not even a concern anymore. They just want to look good, be fit, have a good quality of life. Like I said, it's stripping you down to who you are. And there's a great quote by Wes Watson, by the way, and you should check out his channel. He states, who you are when everything is negative is who you are. Now that's powerful, bro. I thoroughly believe this to be the case when talking about home training in regards to the whole quarantine situation. So most stuff you don't need. Most stuff is more simple than you thought. And now it's time to focus on what you actually want. And you're going to do it because we're all locked down. It is what it is. So the second thing, I want to dive more into the training aspects. You now have the perfect opportunity to experiment with nucleus overload. For the unaware, this is the concept of training a muscle group every single day for extended periods of time. Then you back off and you should have more nuclei within your muscle cells, therefore making them easier to build. You can check out this full tutorial by Megan of Team 3D Alpha. He breaks it down better than I could, right? But now's the perfect time to try it out. What do you have to lose? You're training at home. You have all the time in the world. You can sleep like crazy. Recovery is not going to be a problem. There's less work restrictions. Like you, you can train like a badass now. Now you're a prisoner of the quarantine. Isn't that right? So try out some high frequency stuff. High frequency, high volume combined. Try some prisoner style workouts too, man. Get it in. It's the perfect opportunity because maybe in a few months from now, you're not going to be able to do this anymore. You're not going to have the recovery capacity to handle that. So if you want to find out if nucleus overload is the real deal, give it a shot, man. Start doing push-ups and pull-ups on a daily basis. Really treat yourself like a prisoner and see if it works. If it works, man, you're going to be very happy. If not, hey, it was a learning experience. At least you got the challenge of mind within this process. And you know what? It'll keep you busy too. So nucleus overload, perfect time to do it. Next thing, neck training. A lot of guys are concerned of doing neck exercise at the gym. They don't want to be laughed at. They find it weird. Or they themselves judge the movements and don't have an idea of how powerful neck training actually is. I did a poll on my community tab and most people have at least something, a very small amount of equipment. Only 20% have zero. So that means the majority of you watching this video can do neck curls, neck extensions, etc. And if you want to invest to an even higher level, get the neck flex, man. It's a harness that I actually use. Have been promoting it for years, and it's the best one on the market in terms of versatility and results. You can do band exercises and straight weight. So there's no restrictions whatsoever, plus you have a doorway mount. So you don't even need a power rack to attach it to. And you can get a huge neck with that alone. So train at home, man. Whether you're doing the neck flex or straight weight exercises with a plate on your head, which again, you probably have. You can high volume that stuff, right? See what it does to your physique. You're going to freaking come out, man. <laughs> it's going to be unbelievable. You're going to come out of this quarantine with a thicker neck, more conditioned physique, and stripping down the ego, all the negative aspects of yourself, which is pretty badass. So neck training, bro, there's no excuse anymore, at least for most of you watching this video. Now, the next benefit, which is a really good one, is getting lean as hell. 
Look at the weather and look at the time frame. I'm seeing these memes where it's like, oh, before, right? The guy's like fit as hell. He's dancing. He's all happy. And then after, he's a fat slob. Why? Why are you going to become fat as hell at home? It should be the opposite. This should be the perfect opportunity to discipline yourself. You're not going to restaurants. You're not going to social gatherings. It's all you. So eat right and shred down if you have to. This would be a perfect time. Like say it takes about 30 days to build a habit, right? Well, without all these external factors that influence your eating decisions, you can set yourself up for long-term success. It starts right now, bro. So if you're someone who's been wanting to get lean all this time, and like I said, summer's right around the corner, why not experiment right now? Or does the opposite spectrum of getting more swollen than ever before. But for that, you might need certain equipment or really challenge yourself, really punish yourself with certain workouts, right? But still, it's something worth considering. And then the fifth and final benefit is fully committing yourself to home training to the point where once all this stuff is over, you're still working out at home. Because as I mentioned in point one, you found out what you needed. You really broke it down. It's like, yeah, I don't need a gym. And you start to understand that you're saving time. Time is freaking money. You don't have to drive to the gym. You don't have to talk to anybody there. You don't have to wait for people to finish their sets. You're fully concentrated because you've already unlocked that prisoner mindset. You know what it takes now. You're used to it. You've adapted. And why not continue? Hey, you don't have to do bodyweight training only, but now you can get some home training equipment. Let me tell you this. People are going to be selling their equipment. So isn't that a perfect opportunity in itself? Right now, the prices are insane because everything's out of stock. It is what it is. People are trying to capitalize, right? But once the gyms are open again, you think people are going to keep training at home? Most won't. But if you are a serious lifter and you like the home training, you've gotten used to it, just buy it secondhand, man. Start training at home or get it new, whatever. Use this as an opportunity to make a permanent switch. Like most of my workouts, even before all this happened, were at home. I'm going to say 90% of my gains within the last two years were done from home. It's not an exaggeration. It's the truth. I barely go to the gym. I go to the gym when I got to film something for you guys. Honestly, I get better gains here. I found out what works for me. I know how to make gains using characterization, rotating lifts, all that. I have all the variety that I want. I can listen to my own music. It's freaking fun, man. And I save so much time. It's unbelievable. That was one of the major benefits. And I get more footage for you guys as well. So for me, as someone who films online, like it's helpful, right? But for you, it could be a time-saving thing. It could be the realization that gains could be made here without any compromise. So commit to home training fully. Now is the best time to do it. Once you're used to it, boom, we keep going. So those are the five amazing opportunities that you have right now. As I'm always saying, guys, in times of crisis, there's always positives. You just got to look deep enough. You got to not only look within yourself, but also be objective about the environment what everyone else is experiencing and understanding that we're all in the same boat. So if you have other advice, if you have other insight in regards to opportunities, let's see in the comment section. And with that said, I'll talk in the next video.